is painting this, prepping and painting this. Uh, it's, it's a one day job, all right? So it's basically doing the body work, prepping it, sanding it. Uh, pre so as far as the sunroof, I'm gonna try to include the link of the website where I bought this kit uh, below the video here. If you don't see it, um, check back again because I'm gonna be updating the website and I'll put the link there. So I'm basically cutting the size, the template that I bought all right, cutting that out, and then I already measured center of my hard top here. Okay, and I'm placing this in the center. I cut it out, and I'm going to trace the whole thing so I know where to cut with my little jigsaw. All right, I'm going to remove the paper, finish tracing it out, and then I'm going to drill a 3 8 hole so I can fit my blade in to start cutting with the jigsaw all the way around. Okay, and this is fiberglass, so it was pretty easy for me. If you're doing a, a regular roof, I did this on a 67 Camaro once, and same process, you're just gonna use a metal tip. All right, so we just pull it off. Pretty simple process, it basically holds on like a sandwich. So you put a, a water sealant, um, like a, it's like a, a, a weather stripping okay, glue. Okay, so we cut our hole. I initially am dry fitting my universal sunroof here and we measured everything out and it's looking really good here, okay? Um, basically, from this point, okay, I'm using these as markers, to the edge of my roof, we're looking at seven inches and three eighths, okay? So from inside here, to here we measured seven and three eighths and that's even on both sides. So we know that's even. We got eight inches from this edge till the edge of our roof here. Eight inches in here. We got seven inches and we're using it right where it bends into the corner here, right around here to this molding, seven inches. So that is our alignment we made sure. And now when you cut the roof, you can move it, okay? Because when I initially set it, it was a little off. And I was like, oh man, uh, did I cut the hole on an, off on an angle? But it really wasn't, it was just set in. You have basically a, around close to three eighths of an inch wiggle room all the way around. So it moves a lot, okay? So once you set it in, what we did was, okay, we aligned we put all of our screws in. You could see all of our screws are in here, right? Sorry, it's a little dark. But um, once we did that, we tightened them up, but we loosened them a little, a crack, a smidge, so this way we could move the whole roof around uh, while it's sitting in our hole. Now, now what I'm gonna do is get a marker and mark all the way around this here because that's where I know it's gonna sit. Okay, and I'm just gonna use a pen. I tested it and it looks, looks like it's pretty good. So I'm gonna use a pen like this. Now we could take this ring out here and we, this is where we have to put our, our black sealer, okay, for our rubber. And uh, let's go ahead and take this top out now, see? Just like that. This is that weather stripping that I was talking about. It's a, you know, like a sticky, gluey sealer. And then when you sandwich the top and bottom of our moonroof, it seals it and gives it a nice watertight finish. All right, so you put that around the corner, the edges there, and you put your top in, put the bottom in, screw it all together, make sure it's, you know, aligned where you want it, screw it together, and you're good to go. I tightened everything down from underneath, right? I just pop the glass back in, that's an easy process, it just slips in and uh, you just tighten, uh, close the clips up. Now I'm going to show you here, um, you can see that some of the sticky stuff is coming out, right? Because we tighten everything down and it's pushing it out. So all we got to do now is get a razor blade, cut along here and just pull this sticky stuff out. Okay, right here, just like you're tightening a valve cover gasket on a car. So you want to tighten from the inside and then work your way crisscross, work your way out and go around. And that's what we did here. So again, uh, we're going to do our water test. All right, so I don't see any leaks. 
basically it. We used our X-Acto knife, cut off all the leftover rubber on there, or the sealer, whatever you want to call it. And now it's nice and clean. So now what we're going to do is get some lacquer thinner and wipe all the little stickiness out of the corners. Okay, because we could see that there's a little bit of sticky stuff like around here, very little, and on the molding here, on the trim. And uh, we're going to go ahead and clean it really well uh, and then prep it. Water sand this whole area with 400. All right, so this is a pretty easy job here. Um, I noticed when I was sanding, you could see all the, the red on the floor. It's, this is an enamel paint job. And when you're sanding, okay, and you see the paint come off like that, you know it's a single stage enamel paint job. All right, because if, if you were sanding and you got like a white milky, that's clear coat. All right, so this is an enamel paint job. I don't know how old it is. It's pro probably pretty old. Miatas came out back in the 90s. And uh, anyway, so if we take a, a closer look here, we could see all the, the chip marks, um, you know, in, in the corner sections, the edge area. So all I did was water sand it with 400 grit. You know, by the time you went through this course, you're watching this video here, um, you know the process of water sanding, okay? So all I did was water sand this down with 400 grit. Now this is, you know, it's a little advanced. I'm not recording me sanding it down or anything. I already did it, okay? Again, uh, if you wanna know more specifics on water sanding and wet sanding with 400, go back into the course and check out the other videos. This is already if you know how to do it because I'm just adding to the course now. Uh, this is not a main section of the course. Uh, so all I, all I did was basically water sand it. I used two quarter sheets like this uh, of 400. I wet sanded the whole thing down nicely. It's nice and smooth. So at the very last step, right before we're ready for paint, everything's masked up. We're going to put some light primer on all the areas that fiberglass is showing, uh, the putty is showing. Just hit that nice and gray. Then all we got to do is basically sand it down, dry sand with 400 grit, tack it down, and we're ready for paint. Now you can see we're doing the door jams separately on this project. So we're going to be doing your door jams, trunk jams, and all that good stuff along with the hard top. We're going to do all that green, uh, spray clear on it, and we are in the home stretch of the project. So I hope you enjoyed the series so far, and I'll see you in the next. So now all we have to do is tack all the parts down, tack the sunroof down, and we're going to be ready for our green base coat.